Hey, David Hooper here, Big Podcast Daily. Sound a little bit different. Coming to you from a remote setup. I'm actually going into my iPhone. I'm in my office. Next to me, my trusty dog, Parker. You may hear him in the background. The software that I'm using is Spreaker Studio. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a cart machine, like a live radio board. Check this out. We're keeping it soft and wet on the quiet storm. <laughs> so you got sound effects. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can actually broadcast live with this piece of software. I am not doing that. I'm going straight in to the recording apparatus, just like a normal podcast, except this is not a normal podcast. I'm going to talk to you about the process of recording into your iPhone, the equipment that you need, and why I'm doing this. We'll start there. Why am I doing this? The purpose is because sometimes you're not in the studio. Sometimes you're on the road. You're like me. You're out speaking. You're at conferences. You're traveling. You're preaching the gospel. Whatever it is that you're doing on the road, sometimes you need to do a podcast and you're not in your studio. So then what? Well, you get the Spreaker app, you get your iPhone, Android device, then you got to get a mic to hook up to it. I'm using a Shure SM58 knockoff. It's by GLS Audio. It is called the ES58. $30 at Amazon. SM58, if you're not familiar with that mic, if you're thinking of a handheld mic right now, that's what you're thinking of. It looks like a microphone. It's the one we all know. It's in every comedy club, every church, every music club. One of the most popular mics ever. And here's my theory about the one in my hand right now, the GLS ES58. You know, there's a lot of counterfeiting in the world. The SM58 is old technology. It would be easy to source the parts elsewhere, set up a factory, build the exact same microphone, stick a different label on it. I think that's exactly what the people at GLS have done. It sounds great. Took it to an audio engineering friend of mine. He said, yeah, basically it's the same mic. You can sound exactly the same, same kind of specs on it. Good enough for remote broadcasting. One of the great things about it, one of the reasons that I purchased this mic, not only is it cheap, not only does it sound okay, Not as good as a studio mic that I would normally use, but it's also about 8% of the price. I think my mic is about $350. It's built rock solid. SM58, ES58. I know guys that have used these things as hammers. Stuff in a bag, no moving parts. It sounds amazing, even if it gets beat up. It's not going to break on you when you're on the road. So it's great. I've got a $3 cable from Monoprice. It's a three-foot cable, also available at Amazon.com. That goes into something called the iRig Pre. I think it's 40 bucks for the iRig Pre. It's a preamp. Put a battery in it. It gives the microphone enough power so when it goes to your phone, your phone is able to pick it up. So the whole thing, probably about 80 bucks worth of equipment. Software is free. If you've got a Spreaker account, this is the cool thing. Let's say you've got your normal podcasting hosting account, and I do. I use Libsyn for Big Podcast Daily. I've also got an account with Spreaker, and I've got a special podcast set up. It's called Big Podcast Remote Episodes. I go into that account, record an episode such as this one. It's on an account that basically does not get listened to, but my Libsyn account pulls from my remote podcast account on Spreaker, And it brings in that episode as if it were a normal episode. So the listeners of Big Podcast Daily, you get that in your feed just like a normal episode, flawless to you. You don't have to tell people to go to anywhere else. You set this thing up. It's on your iPhone. It goes directly to your remote account. You are done. So it's easy to do remote podcasting. Editing, not so much. Editing is a different thing. This is live from front to back. So you're going to want to be aware of that. It's not going to be as flawless as if you were to go into the studio, plan out your episode, edit it, do all the normal things that you would do. You'll probably hear some popping peas. Microphone is different. It's not as good as a studio mic. There's no compression on this thing. There are no kind of effects. You're not going to sound as good, but the content is there, and if you want to get a podcast out remotely, this is a good way to do that. I would love to hear how you are doing remote podcasts. Reach out to me. Let me know. 
bigpodcast.com is how to do that. If you've got an interesting story, you're doing something cool, I will feature you on an episode of Big Podcast Daily. Speaking of that feed, if you didn't get this podcast, this episode remotely, see, I'm making a mistake. (laughs) Normally what I do when I make a mistake is I pause and I redo it, and I would say something like this. Speaking of that feed, if you're not getting that feed, you want to. Make sure you never miss an episode. Go to where you get your podcast, Apple Podcast, Google Play Music, search for Big Podcast Daily, hit the subscribe button, and you will never miss an episode. See, I can't do that, though. I can't do that on this one because it's live from front to back. I haven't figured out the editing on the Spreaker Studio. Can I do it? Yeah. Yeah, but you get to hear the real David Hooper. My dog is here with me. You got something to say? He's got nothing to say. He's a little nervous about getting on the mic. Thank you for listening to Big Podcast Daily. I'll see you tomorrow when I'll be back here once again talking about how to grow your podcast, connect with your audience, and make more money while spreading your message. See you then.